All right, cranial nerve number six, abductions. Now we've already talked about this, but I wanna do each one separately so you know, you know how to break them apart. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna observe the position of the patient's eyes, right? Okay, because what are we looking for? We want the patient looking forward, okay? So if the patient's looking forward, both eyes are gonna appear to look in the same direction. And what do we want? No nystagmus, no movement. Okay, if there is impairment, then what you're going to get is one eye, okay, may look inward, you know, due to the unopposed action, okay, of what? Of the medial rectus, okay? And the patient, okay, will probably, at this point, with an abductions problem, they'll probably report double vision. Mm -hmm. Just okay. like with four and three. Right. So here we're going to do it. If you remember, okay, we're going to have the patient move their eyes laterally okay so we're going to come out okay and move out like so okay now we can come back okay and you know out and you can do the same thing on the other side back and out and if you recall we already did up okay we already did um you know adduction and up okay which is ocular motor okay we then did okay um down and okay medially. and then medially mm -hmm. okay and so we capture them all but this so essentially you're looking at abduction of the eye which again easy to remember because of abductions and that's cranial nerve number six okay put all your cranials together for the eye movement right cranial three or cranial four and six. And six. Those are the motor pieces. Those are the motor pieces. And the sensory is two. Optic. Is optic, which is two. Good. All right. We'll see you back next for what is it? Cranial nerve number seven, which is the facial, facial nerve. All right. Perfect. See you then.